the extremist group in Iraq and Syria that calls itself the Islamic State, is one of the best-funded terrorist and most sophisticated organization the U.S. has ever faced, according to U.S. officials. They also say the group is making a lot of money from oil. Daniel Wrenches has more. As U.S. and coalition airstrikes pound militant positions in Iraq and Syria, one key target is the oil infrastructure. The U.S. Treasury Department says the Islamic State is earning about $1 million a day selling oil through a long-established black market network in the region. ISIL's revenue streams are, to be sure, diverse and deep. With the important exception of some state-sponsored terrorist organizations, ISIL is probably the best-funded terrorist organization we have confronted. Nonetheless, understanding that this effort will take time, dedication, and broad collaboration, we are well positioned to degrade ISIL's financial strength. The U.S. Treasury is seeking to identify the Islamic State's network of financial managers and exclude them from the international banking system through sanctions. Operating entirely in cash is both cumbersome and risky. Cash is bulky, vulnerable to theft, and requires complicated logistics to transport. The Treasury is calling on foreign governments to abide by their commitments not to pay ransoms for hostages, noting the group collected about $20 million this year. If we are to protect our citizens and avoid bankrolling our adversary, every country must adopt and implement a no-ransoms policy. Cohen says the U.S. is making progress working with Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to cut off sources of donor funding, but officials want Kuwait and Qatar to do much more. The U.S. Treasury says the system of extortion of people and businesses in areas controlled by ISIL can only ultimately be addressed by reducing the amount of territory they control. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington. For more on the U.S.